Hey, sports fans, Greg Metford, Metford Knives, MKT USA, and Knives on the table. I'm standing in as a guest host for Amy. She's super busy today. It's the last day of the month, so I thought I would step in. You know, like uh, how Don Rickles used to do for Johnny Carson when Johnny was, like, going to take a break with one of his wives. Uh, sequential, not uh, simultaneous. And uh, Don Rickles would come in and host for a week. I'm hosting the show for the day. So, uh, you guys, this is a batch of knives headed out to the gun shop of Sarasota. Bryant is their knife guy. They're out in Sarasota, Florida, in case you didn't know. Their number, 941-822-0707. It's not 007, but it's 0707. Info at gun shop, O-P-P-E, online.com. Gun shop, S-H-O-P-P-E, online.com. Reach out to them. If there's something here that tickles your fancy, right down in here, stuck in this knife-loving portion of the body. The ancient guts region. Let's hop down on the table here and see what we've got. So, sexy TFF1 S35 VN steel. It's got blackout oppositional hardware. It's a little hard to see this sometimes yes. in video, but uh, it pops really nicely. It's a very classy touch. That black um, deals are not um, armor loops. Got a little bit of an iridescent quality to it, and this actually looks like it's our our our. Uh, Gem 3 tumble, maybe. Am I, am I right about that? I think that? it is, yeah. yes. Um, let's move on now to an S35 VN USMC fighter flipper. It is blacked out with blue. It's a, it's a black and blue. This one's been in the ring with Clubber Lane, and it's gotten smacked. Oh, and this one's been in the Oh, my God, this is fantastic. It's all black. It's been in the ring with Rocky Stallone, and now it's black and blue. I know. I'm getting a, sh a disgusted shake of the head behind the cara, uh, camera. USMC Fighter Flipper. Yummy. Oh, God, these things have gotten way better. Flips nicely. Now, I don't know how this has gotten done. I don't know how somebody has ordered this. This is a very, very, very sexy and pain in the ass laser job to do this USMC Fighter Flipper. Now, what we did for this is we took a picture of our USMC Fighter um, with the uh, layered G10 handles that are the same as the grip on the M45 that was made for the Marine Corps by Colt. We took a picture of that handle from the side, made a digital version of that, layer, lasered it on in a few different layers, and it gives that look illusion of a, of a rounded surface like on that knife, and it makes a really nice compliment. Now, if you don't know anything about this knife, it is one of the most complicated and expensive frame lock knives you can make because of the parts and the way they interlock back here. It's meant to be a real working full-size man knife. Super cool knife. So, um, Armalu Blade S35VN, bronzed out titanium hardware and clip, and our sexy USMC Fighter uh, faux handle that's been lasered on there. Next, on to a couple of Genesis tees. We've got one in bronze. Oh, man, this is bronze and faced with a Vulcan Blade S35VN. Um, really cool. I love this um, contrast of the raw natural material on top of a finish. So we've taken a finish and put it on here and then touched off the face of this by hand. And then you see this tucked away, like what's this miscolored blade? And then it comes out and it's just, you know, sexy color. So what a lovely knife in S35VN. Great action. Let's move on to the next Genesis. Um, I forget what this one's called, Chimera. Or what are you guys calling this I one? I call it Galaxy. I trumped Jeff's Chimera. It's kind of, um, for That's those of you... solar flare. Yeah, it's, it, they look like solar flares. That's actually a perfect description. It looks like you're um, close in at the sun, looking at the side of the sun through a microscope, and you see little flares shooting off of it. But it's it's a um, it's kind of a radical, uh, I'm sorry, a random spatter pattern that's been done over a flame finish. Um, just actually pretty yummy. Um, it's got a tumbled S35 VM blade, just melted down just right around all the edges. And these tumbled blades always just have the nicest action because microscopically, all the peaks and valleys of this material has really just been been uh, uh, rounded off and smooth. Lovely Praetorian Genesis. Next, the Proxima, one of my favorites. Now, I shortened the Gigantes to make this knife. So uh, it's turned out to be a knife that I really enjoy. I love the size of it. Um, 
This reminds me, if you guys like uh, Porsche Panamera, uh, and when you see a 911, the, 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 the uh, Gigantes is like a Panamera. It's a little too long for your Porsche eyes. And then you get this, and you go, oh, that's the size a Porsche is supposed to be. Just lovely, S35 VN Armaloop blade. It's got our double step down uh, lightning thumb slide. This has again been uh, blasted, anodized, and then hand faced. So um, we, I love this when we contrast the flat face to the edges, to the blade, to the hardware. It makes everything pop and stand out really nicely. Lovely, 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 lovely knife. And you know, it's just, you can tell it's meant to be a working knife. It's got such a big hilt on it. Just an awesome knife. Everything about it looks right. And it looks like it's going fast when it's sitting there. <laughs> Not that a knife needs to go fast, right? Moving on to an infraction. Now this, as soon as I picked it up, I was like, ugh. All tumbled infraction. Now, you see guys do all kinds of things. They, I don't want to cut my hand off doing this. I'm not a spidey flipper. What do they it's, call that? It's, it's spidey flipping. The guys flip it from the bottom. Uh, I always thumb this knife open. Now, I was kind of on a little Italian influence. I had gotten an Italian shotgun when I started drawing this, and it just kind of jived with me. So um, it's got, you know, it's a departure from the lines of our other knives that are more utilitarian. I actually started having a little bit of kind of style and Italian sentiment with this one. You can see it's got a really positive forward rake to the blade in line with the hand, and it's really meant for working. Um, just a great little knife. Nice balance. I gave out about a hundred of these for one of my parties for Washington a couple years ago. Lovely knife. Um, and if you can't tell, it's got contrasting over travel uh, stop and uh, hardware all in armor loop. Next, this is my uh, German vampire movie insp inspired Nosferatu. This is a really cool auto dagger coffin shaped and I kind of took some design cue on this blade from the fangs of the character in Nosferatu, if you ever watched the movie. It's an old German, um, uh, I think it was done in Berlin, early part of the last century, uh, vampire movie. And uh, I just thought everything about it kind of screamed sinister and coffin shape. And this just, when, you, when this blade comes out, guys go, oh God, I'd hate to have that stuck into me. It just looks like you bleed like a stuck pig. So uh, just a great knife, and it has got great action. There's just the right amount of uh, lightness and mass for the spring tension that we've got on it, that it's really a zero play auto, which is a very, very rare thing. Moving on to our next auto, Praetorian Swift. So for those of you who don't know, this knife has got um, a lot of design cues from the Praetorian Genesis. If you ever notice, if you lay them next to each other, they're exactly the same length. So what I did is I took a Genesis and I shrunk it in the uh, Y dimension. And then I rounded the holes out and made everything in proportion. But it has the exact same blade length, size, and handle length of a Praetorian Genesis. Now this is a full 6061 T6 aluminum chassis. It's been type three class two hard anno. That's got seven tenths penetration, seven tenths buildup. So a really, really hard surface. For those of you who don't know, uh, hard anno is kind of like case hardening on steel. If you ever look at Turnbull 1911s, for those of you guys who are gun dudes, and you see that um, case hardening has got that very, almost looks like our flame finish on steel. It puts a really hard skin on material. And that's kind of what hard anode does if it's done right. Now just anodizing does not do that. And type two anode doesn't do that. But type three class two, it's got a buildup, it's got a penetration. The total thickness is anywhere between 1.2 and 1.5 thousandths thick with buildup and surface penetration. You get a really hard skin. And then while it's fresh, it's in a natural gray finish, then um, it gets uh, introduced to an ink mix and the ink mix, mix penetrates and type three class two hard anno will never get you those bright colors because that thick skin's porosity pulls a lot of color in and it takes your dye and makes it very dense. You get a lot of dense color out of it. So we can't do light greens and light reds like on your um, bicycle parts, like on your uh, Shimano or on your gooseneck, on, uh, if you remember on your old mongoose. We can't get those bright light colors because they had no buildup. Uh, anyways, sexy little knife. Now this one's done 
in a, a dark, dark green. I would call it a dark hunter green um, with bronze uh, titanium parts and highlights, black clip, black blade, everything about the knife is sexy. Uh, it would be super Marine Corps if it had a blood red stripe on it somewhere. Sexy, sexy knife. Now, a lot of guys are like, Greg, you know, it, it doesn't have the same action as the Nosferatu. I put a lot of weight out on the end of the blade to keep it a Praetorian. When you put that mass further away from the center, think about a uh, ice skater with their arms out. As they bring their hands in, they get really fast. As you bring the mass closer into the uh, moment of rotation, the blade will be quicker. But we've got a blade with some real mass out at the end because we really, we weren't trying to present you a machine gun. We were trying to present you a one hand, easy open uh, Praetorian. So the Tonto and this, both have, I would say, just a kitten hair off of your normal, like crazy fast action because we've left so much mass out in the blade and it's a substantial blade. Moving on to, a, uh, to our next knife today. These are our uh, Smooth Criminals. Now, these, we had a couple iterations of this knife where the action wasn't great. It was just, honestly, it's every knife company's learning curve. We've really got these down now. They bank lock vault, they've got a really crisp click and, uh, and, and uh, in, engagement to them. Um, just lovely knives. Um, these are type three class two hard anno. This has got kind of a dark Air Force blue on it um, with opposing titanium and stainless blade. Of course it has the MKT badging on it. It's got a production number on the back. Lovely tumble on the blade, wonderful action. Let's go to the next smooth criminal. Um, oh, this one's got a little issue. So this knife's gonna go back in sharpening. It's got a little whiff or dill on the sharpening I don't like, I just popped it in the light. Lovely knife, we're gonna get it back in sharpening and do a little adjustment to that. That's what happens sometimes when you have the maker doing these videos. Let's go to the last knife. Now this is the knife I carry every day. It's one of my favorite knives we've ever made. Um, this is a Gen 1 Gentleman Jack. This year we have a Gen 2 Gentleman Jack that we're going to release at Blade Show. You guys will really like this. So for those of you who aren't slip joint snobs, this knife has got some crankiness to it. Um, it does everything it's supposed to, but it doesn't have some of the sound and feel that uh, the real aficionados like out of them. So this knife is 90% of the way there, and this is as well. So unless you're a snob, you'll like that it's got a nice half stop, you like that it's got a nice, po nice positive close. Um, it locks out really nicely. It's a really lovely knife that is not gonna get any little uh, bunny rabbit hearts at work if you work in the medical profession or the legal profession, some place where there's gals around or really soft-handed guys and they might get offended by a knife. This will not set anybody off. And at the end of the day, it's a super manly slip joint. That is a Gen 1. So just so you guys know, those will be available for the first part of this year, and then they will be no more and you'll never see them again. So um, the new version of the knife is better. Uh, it's more evolved, uh, but sometimes guys like to have the, they, they like to see their knives progress over time. And that's one of the things you're gonna get to do when you look at the Gen 2 Gentleman Jack. The Gen 1 Gentleman Jack is what I carry. I really like it. I think you guys will dig it. So go check it out at the gun shop of Sarasota. Bryant is their guy, B-R-Y-A-N-T. They're in uh, Sarasota, info at gun shop, S-H-O-P-P-E, online.com. Their number is 941-822-0707. Greg Medford from Medford Knife, MKT USA. Go over, check out ASK Knives. Don't forget our Instagram got hacked, so we're not in charge of that. Farouk Abtahadi Bajaj Muhammad is in charge of that now. Uh, it doesn't represent our company, so it's just us on uh, uh, Instagram at ASK Knives uh, and... Uh, uh, face, what's the other one? Facebook? Is it Facebook or MySpace or what is it? Facebook. Facebook. Uh, Medford Knife. And then uh, you can, of course, always go to our YouTube channel where you see this the most. I'm out.